Uh, so for this episode of Coffee Con Talk, we have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Anurag Asawa. Asawa sir is currently an associate professor at Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics, Pune. Along with this, he is also a researcher and has completed many projects related to policy formulations. Welcome to Coffee Con Talk, sir. Um, Thank you. Now we proceed with the interview. The first question will be asked by Vani. Uh, so, so, sir, you have been a uh, been working an associate professor at the Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics. So, what is your bi biggest takeaway from this wonderful journey? Uh, biggest takeaway, if uh, when I joined over here, I was not doing anything about research, although I was doing my PhD. But think okay, you can understand in India, doing PhD is not a big deal if you are not from a good institution when i joined over here i started teaching and i realized that something is missing over here and the very first time when i got project and tried to understand and tried to implement those econometrics and statistics which i used to teach in the classroom i realized it is not that easy to apply so the biggest big, uh, we can say takeaway in that entire journey is if you are really using your skill and try to find out some solution and some answer seeing the data or finding out the data or collecting the data and try to implement those information those knowledge really it it, it work well and that i can say it it improve my teaching part i improve my understanding part it improves my interpretation part and the most important part it improve the entire environment and writing skill as well because you know that what we are doing and you know that what you are not able to do that. The most important part is not doing. It is most important about what can you not do when you have a, this small information with you. So this is what I have take away. Research should be a part of a teacher. If you want to become a good teacher, research really help you out. Uh, so you have also been working on various projects in the areas of housing, uh, migration, water and energy. So how was your experience with the same? Uh, again, these three are, I used to say, okay, I'm a resource economist and I discuss about roti, kapda and makan. So we have a housing, we have a water. A roti means when you have all these things, so you can have a roti, kapda and makan. They were quite old movie. You would have not known actually about this movie. It is uh, started by the Manoj Kumar. And that was quite popular in, in 80s because the in middle class, the biggest fighting was having a roti as well as kapda and makan. The achievement, somebody can have this, all these three things. It means he's a happy guy. So when you talk about this reports and these projects uh, these are entirely different we can say the ball game when we talk about migration it is we are talking about those people who do not have any identity because they would have lived they would have transferred from one place where the people will be knowing to them but now because they have left that place so those people who were known to them are totally unknown they come to a new place which is place is new people is new and nothing is in their hand so again, the struggle is start from each basic amenities. If I want to get some benefit of government scheme or some, uh, I can say very small. When I, I joined over here as a migrant, because I switched from Rajasthan to Pune, so I was also a permanent migrant actually. And the first strike, uh, first problem I faced is a address proof. I did not have the address proof of the Pune. Now, the first day when I went out and tried to purchase a SIM, a nightmare for me. Well, okay, you just let us know your very local address proof. I had the address proof of my native place, but not of this. And then I come back to institute and I, I requested them to please issue me and not, we can say, a certificate. Okay, I'm, I'm staying over here and give me the address proof. And based on that, I got the SIM. And it, it took me three days. Then I realized okay, if I'm so-called highly qualified, having very good job, if I can face face these types of problem to have a small getting a sim what will the problem the migrant the migrant generally talk about they are in really poor situation so then i i got interest working in that migration area so that is a one incident where i started working in migration when i talk about water again it was a coincidence i'm not the water expert i was not expert at all i never worked on that but due to some reason i could get in that project and then i realized first time Okay, when we see the dam, we generally visit dam to just see the beauty of dam. The water is there and the surrounding area of dam would be a very beautiful area. And we spend half of the day and come back. But when we started working on that, we realized this is not only dam. This is a life of at least thousands and millions of people who are getting benefit of that dam. 
that is not a, we can say concrete walls four three side concrete wall and one side is a natural we, we can say stones would be there and then that water economics is started actually okay how water is so important for us as a city people or the, we can say urban people water means it is coming at our doorstep actually at everything is available in a bathroom it is available in we can say toilet available in the kitchen etc but when you see and go to rural area and many of the area and basically irrigation so that water economics i started knowing in 2012 13 when i started working on one of the project which is being built build means the dam is built dam is started building in 1990 85 with the cost of 60 crore the costing was 60 crore and it could get finished in 2008 with the cost of almost 960 crores sure. but 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 nobody was able to use the water stored in the dam because there were so many issues were there and then i realized okay, look the thing which we discuss in the development economics etc we never come across these sorts of real problem so that is another experience i had and then we started working on it how can we make this dam or entire irrigation project viable so we started working on that so this is second part and then the third part when you talk about energy again it is also coincident initially when uh, meda and merc revisited to gokul institute and they wanted to understand okay how this bagas you can you understand that when we uh, we crush the uh, sugar cane the powder remains with the sugar factories and it is called bagas and many of the sugar factories are using this bagas to generate electricity and that electricity they, they sell it to the merc or let's say some uh, mscdc let's say that and they wanted to have some cost estimation okay how much cost they are incurring so that they can go to the uh, government and ask them to increase the per unit charges so this was a third part where i realized that okay, how electricity which is not the part of anywhere sugar cane factory and electricity where is the match but there is a match why because all sugar factory have to generate electricity on their own so it means if they have electricity that so they can run the factory and they can run the factory they can generate electricity so this is how the circle was there and then the costing was also part of that electricity generation so this is the third and again a policy matter okay where how much money should be paid to those factories who are generating electricity incidentally it is not their work it is what the part of incident okay something is there that's why you have to do that so in that case how to find out the what is the cost of investment what is the rate of return and how much cost should be incurred to find out the price per unit price and then we have to find out the profit loss and then generation etc so this is the third project which we did so when i try to understand okay when i talk about sugar cane factory the maximum people who are working in sugar cane are migrants actually okay so there one connectivity i got ke migrant energy and the third part when we talk about where are the sugar factories are they are located they are located nearby those we can say the irrigated area irrigated area means water is available what is available means dams are available dams are available means the water connectivity water distribution system is established it means they are better people actually than anybody else this is how i could realize that i have completed the full circle of water migration and electricity or let's say energy then after that we work i work for mscdcl i work for merc i work for mwrra these are the government institutions and they are basic constitutional agencies where they decide about the pricing policy distribution etc so i am fortunate that after coming in gokhale which i could have not thought in my dream that these are the institutions that are available and i am going to work with them and contribute something about the state economy it is more on the state economy so this is how my experience i can say and all these examples and everywhere all these projects were based on primary survey and the primary survey again another experience which i would like to share with you after your questions are over sure sir definitely uh, so sir next question would be uh, the your research projects are mostly based on primary data collection exactly what we were yes. going to talk about yes. now how has that affected your perceptions of how data should and should not be used one is taking my class now hai eh? good yeah so again data is again i am not going to teach data basically information and information we can collect different ways primary survey with the or primary data or the secondary data my work is more on the primary data so when we talk about primary survey it is a really a tough task i will say toughest task 
arranging primary survey arranging questionnaire arranging investigators arranging we can say the data then finding out what data we have collected is really correct or not or some have set under the tree and put the data in the questionnaire etc this is a huge problem we generally face but other side it is so it gives you flexibility it's give you the observation and understanding it gives a real picture when you sit in the classroom and when you uh, do the desk research many of the time you may not have any idea of real problem so once you go into the field and one thing uh, which learned in gokul institute i have made it made a point uh, not me all fa faculty members who work in the primary survey out of 100 samples at least 10 samples will be collected by a faculty member means if it is a 100 so 10 sample i will be collecting going on my own into the field so that i can realize number one whatever the way i have pre prepared the questionnaire is it understandable or not whatever the way i have put the questions i am getting the information as per my requirement and then the 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 language which i used to uh, prepare the question is really understandable to the respondent because respondent are not available to what answer they are giving and for what purpose so making our communication easy or let's say understandable at a local level although i was from rajasthan i was not knowing marathi but fortunately we had very good people who really helped us out to reach out that so that's one way once you go to the field to collect the primary survey you understand at least 30 40% of the problem because you are not interacting with some machines you are acting with the people who are undergoing the issues and they come out with many more information so i will suggest primary survey you can make the data and you can break the data both side so i'm sitting at home i can make my data and i sitting in a, going to the field i can have a, a very good quality of data so quality of data in primary survey always be a big concern but again we have started improving upon initially the kagaj pen then it started the mobile then there are so many devices are available where i can have a name of a person i can have a photo of the person i can have a location of the person i can know at what time he started the question and how, at what time he finished it so the, the, this is the way we are improving the collection of data and we can we can say that now it is a really a good way and good uh, we can say equipments are available where you can really identify if data has been collected fairly or not but yes primary survey when you do that you have many more insight about the data because when you run a regression or when you run a sample statistic etc or summary statistic you may not be able to make the interpretation of that unless you know from whom i have collected the information so that primary survey help us a lot to apply or make our policy um so we've also done a lot of study of the neera devgar project so do you think ppps have been useful in improving india social infrastructure in general and specifically in the neera devgar project uh one thing i can say either you like or you do not like you have to go for ppp because there is a limitation with the government the capital which they need is there is a limit but ha huh, how or where the ppp is working well like uh, if you go by infrastructure infrastructure means road so the moment you start road and within half of the construction is not over is still you start collecting tolls for that so that revenue start very fast but in many of the system like in irrigation when we try to find out the ppp the gestation period of all this activity takes years actually years means it is not 1 2 3 4 it may be 10 to 15 years by that time your entire system will be prepared and then the water distribution will be reaching to the field level that much weight is not that easy for the private sector number 1 number 2 the in irrigation because it is related to a very sensitive issue of farmers if something goes here and there and they do not get the money back that entire system collapses but this is not the system in the road actually because once you create the road people do not have any substitute so they have to use the road they have to pay the toll because the system is established there but in in irrigation type of system or in farming system it is not that easy to get back the money because it takes when we estimated this 
project ke when we we want to complete this project the total costing was reaching around 2200 crore and there is no way we tried to find out with the 6% rate of return 8% rate of return 12% rate of return and 4% rate of rate at, at which they can get the loan but that is also a international level so we tried to understand ke, okay how many years it will take to get back their invested money profit is separate so it was not coming anywhere between 50 to 20 years so now anybody who in private sector thinking about 15 to 20 year down the line and then they will be getting start back the profit profit means might be it's a little bit difficult so that's why you will not find privatization is happening in the agriculture sector or irrigation sector how it is a private because irrigation area people are spending money we have seen that people are fetching money fetching water from five kilometers six kilometers far so they're investing money for their own field but having a common infrastructure to get the water is with the ppp is not that easy so that's why we created pppp public participation or community participation so that's why we added one more part we have to find out the participation of the farmers also so when we create created the model we tried we tried to find out okay 20 percent money should come or 30 percent money should come from the beneficiary so when they pay money from their pocket so they realize okay, yes this is important for them and they become a part of the system otherwise getting it sitting at home pani kyo nahi aa hai ye hona chahiye when we use the term hona chahiye is very easy but when you are part of the system you realize that ke, ha, things are not that easy we have to contribute ourselves so that's why we try to find out the ppcp actually public private community partnership so where community himself either it may be working partnership or let's say labor partnership but their partnership has to be there so in in some of the area ppp will work but in some of the area we have to find out some new thing like ppcp where community should participate participant means they should have ownership over there they should be a part of stakeholder actually and then they should have some money invested over there because if you do not put money the pinch of loss you can't understand so i will say ppp is good for some of the infrastructure part but not it is not panacea actually no it is not what else so oh, that's so is there anything uh, you would like to add yeah again as a teacher i can add add keep on adding over there but yes when you are starting all this thing i would request please keep on doing this exercise it might not be helping you and getting marks but i when you discuss all these issue which is not the part of any syllabus unfortunate part the real issue never come in the syllabus because like water is water problem the electricity problem in urban economics you have one paper we try to handle these issues but we could not find any 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 reading material where we can make you understand because so complex you will not be understanding one when we start having some idea about creating a dam it is at least 10 to 12 different government departments work together it is not only one department and you can understand when 12, 10 and 12 department working together and then they have to come in come on one's consensus ke nahi, this should be done this should not be done you will wonder when we started reading the dp dp means development plan every uh, we can say project have development report actually so we realized that the three dpr when we read the so number of villages which are included in the first dpr were different in second and second and third so they were different and we were not sure to okay, for this particular project is really going to benefit for how many villages in one one dpr there are five village names were not there in second we find out if those names were there in first second is not there another new names are there and we realize in some of the part there are three schemes are going on at least out of 360 villages which we are trying to understand nearby 100 villages they had the three schemes three schemes water distribution system canals were there at a distance of five kilometers only you can understand the hundred villages were getting water from three different sources and the rest of 250 were not getting a single we can say a drop of water number one number two the water distribution system which they created in the in uh near devgar part 
तो दे वाटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम वाज ओनली अप टू द ऑफ 25 टू 30 किलोमीटर्स एंड द सीपेज ऑफ दैट योर वाटर वाज सो मच के नियर बाय फार्मर्स वर नॉट रेडी टू टेक एनी वाटर फ्रॉम दैट सिस्टम बिकॉज़ वाटर वाज ऑटोमेटिक कमिंग टू देम एंड द वाटर लेवल ऑफ द वॉल्स एंड एटसेट्रा वर टू हाई एंड दे वर गेटिंग वी कैन से दे वर आस्किंग अस कि यू शुड कॉम्पेंसेट अस बिकॉज़ ड्यू टू द हाई वाटर लेवल द सेलिनिटी ऑफ देयर वी कैन से द द लैंड इज वी कैन से डिस्टर्बिंग तो वन साइड पीपल वर नॉट गेटिंग वाटर for whom this uh, system was created and other side people who were getting water they were getting we can say puzzled and they are asking us to compensate for this particular project to see the situation so and you will find many complex situation and when we work in these types of issue then we realize ke, okay the things which we see outside looks very easy but it is not that it's quite complicated and having teaching 60 students in a class we have a 60 opinions and when we are working on these sorts of project with 10 to 12 department working together how many opinions would be there and how many we can say question answer would be over there and why the project get delayed as i started i told you this project one topic now we can say in envisage in 1985 with the cost of 64 crore it got over in 2008 with the cost of 760 crore and if you want to complete the entire project the money was needed of 2200 crore mm. and government was paying to that project only 40 crore and that 40 crore was not sufficient for maintenance itself so now there is a tanki like our in, our at home so there is a tanki water is coming in getting storage after some time we were releasing the water so we just created a water tank to collect the water it was not used anywhere so these are many example like merc electricity also so there is a beneficiary there is a we can say supplier supplier need more money beneficiary need less money to pay in between merc are there mscdcls are there and then the officials interaction then the politics is also there but yes that's why that origin of thinking process improve a lot okay, when you start doing some research how many aspect you need to see and data which we teach in the classroom 90% time those teaching and those techniques are not at all useful for real picture sorry to say okay but you have to attend the lecture ha so this is what i can say uh, but yeah there are many we can say uh, in one of the project when we what we are doing currently and i would like better to share you are working currently on migration again in migration we are working on tribal migration and under the tribal migration i hope uh, murmi would be knowing about uh, katkari there is a pvts actually there is a st category under the st category there is a katkari caste is there they are known as a pvts and if if it is possible sometime to take all of you to that area and try to show how they are living their life no house no water no electricity no education and not now it has been means when i asked this question to them okay how how since how long you have been staying over here like this without any house how oh, ajuba ajuba ke father they are living like this only so almost four pds are living in this same situation no improvement nothing and size of that population is almost 4 lakhs in maharashtra not small number hai not small number but see the iota of development has not reached to them when you talk about development and how they will be a part of the mainstream nobody knows about it because they have not studied they are migrating every three months they are what they are doing they are migrating one place to second sec wherever they get the job they are just moving so they are moving means their kids will be moving with them if their kids are moving with them it means there will be no education to them when they are moving one place to second place they cannot have any government official government benefits neither we can say ration nor any we can say health benefit they can get so they are not getting a single benefit or single we can say uh, assistance or let's say any item from the government which is meant for them because they keep on moving when they are keep on moving nobody can track them and nobody is accepting them that they are our citizen because each city each village they have their own internal calculation and equations and you know they are happy if they get 100 rupees per day 150 rupees per day 
and from in that they are living their life and when they leave their place for working the number of item would be hardly two or three items one utensils for cooking and one utensils for eating item and some kapda what they do they just put all these utensils tie in one cloth and hang on the tree because there is no house and when they come back in the same situation they tie they untie that and start cooking over there apart from that nothing is there so this is another project which we are doing to try to find out some policies where they can get the benefit of government programs not new which is meant for them but is not able to reach to that so this is what the new work we are doing apart from many more apart from many more thank you sir so nothing interesting really nothing interesting for students like first year but uh, i feel some of you if you can get have some interest in this area let me know yes sir definitely uh, because sir like you said 90% of the real life problems don't make it into the syllabus we can only learn it from uh, experience uh, uh, from your experiences and other professors definitely so it's obviously great uh, to talk about these things with you it was a really interesting conversation thank you so much thank Bye. you thank you both of you thank you sir. yeah shall i move